Right, day 7 of Earthmas. I'm um, still sick, but anyways, today I'm gonna show you can set up Vegas Pro or any Adobe program as your Discord status. And it's pretty easy to do, so let's begin with the tutorial. Right, first thing, head on over to Discord, go to your user settings, go to activity privacy and make sure that display current activity as status message is turned on. And also, if you have better Discord, make sure any like custom status BS is off and you know, you're good to go. So starting off with Vegas Pro, uh, go down in the description, you'll find the link for this. You wanna go to the latest version and you wanna download the zip file, which is Vegas for Discord. Then once you have the zip, you want to just extract it. So boom, and then you'll get these two files. Now what you wanna do with these two files is copy them. I'm gonna copy them, boom. Then you wanna head on over to your documents and look for the folder Vegas application extensions. Now, if you don't have this, make one. So, you know, right click new folder, name it Vegas application extensions. I'll leave that in the description. So then click enter, go into our folder and paste your two files, just like that. Now, once you have done this, uh, make sure you have no Vegas Pro running and then you can open it. So once you have your Vegas Pro opened, if you head on over to your Discord, you will see that you are playing Vegas Pro. It will say what's your version and it will say what you're doing. So as you can see, I'm idling, which means I'm AFK. Right, so now we have for Adobe. So this will work for you know, After Effects, Premiere Pro and stuff like that. So what you wanna do? Of course, link in the description, you'll find this. Uh, you want to click on the zip so the first one this one then once you have it installed you want to of course extract it and you will get this folder now i want to copy this folder make sure you don't copy this you copy the whole folder and make sure it says discord rpc once you have it copied go to your pc go to your local disk program files x86 then find the common files adobe then you want to go to sep and then you want to click on extensions so once you are here you want to paste that folder in click continue now you might think you're done but unfortunately life is too hard so what we need to do is go to reg edit so click on here type reg edit and open registry editor yes now this is what you will see when you have it open so you want to go to h key current user software find adobe over here and as you can see you'll find these folders so you might have one folder you might have 10 folders but as you can see it should say CSXS so I have a bunch of them I'm gonna start with the one at the very bottom so click on the one that says CSXS you want to right click new and put new string value boom then you want to name this as followed so name it player debug mode like that I'll have it in the description to copy. So once you've done that, click enter. Then you wanna double click on it and put the validator to one and click OK. Now you wanna do this for every single folder that has CSXS. So I'm gonna do that just now. Boom, after like three seconds, you know, everything is done. All folders have player debug mode. So once you have this done, you're basically, I guess, done. And now you can open any Adobe program. Right, and once you launch your Adobe program, you go to Discord and as you can see, it says I'm playing Premiere Pro. It shows what project file I'm on, what video I'm playing and how much time has passed. Now, if you think this shows too much, which in my opinion it does, uh, what you're gonna head and do is go to Premiere Pro or whatever you have, go to Window, go to extensions and click on discord rich presence so this little window will pop up and as you can see you can disable some stuff so if i don't want it to show i don't know details i can turn it off and as you can see it'll it'll show here what it's gonna show you know it's like a preview window and yeah that's about it i mean it's pretty cool but yeah that's the video if you find it interesting leave a like and i'll see you in the next one goodbye